Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Scorpio, I'd love for you to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they resonate with you, uh, Scorpio, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments. As well, Scorpio, I would like to ask if you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Scorpio. I would be really appreciative of it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, Scorpio, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way, Scorpio. Um, but before we get into this uh, weekly reading for you today, Scorpio, I just want to remind you that when it comes to my weekly readings, um, that they're just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider Scorpio, but never making the decision in your life because I believe that the tarot cards here are just here to give you some food for thought, perspective to consider, but never making the choice in your life. Put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatever way. So, with all that being said, my beautiful Scorpio, let's just get into your weekly reading today. So I pulled some cards already, Scorpio, just so I could get a um, general vibe of what it is, the journey that you've been experiencing up until this point right now. Uh, and so the card that, uh, the main card that pulled out for you was the Page of Water, Scorpio. Now this card is an interesting card because it's very much so one way or another for the meaning of it. So I'll read off the card first. This card says, a new person enters your life, a relationship begins a new phase, heightened and psychic abilities. Now with the page of water, this is cups energy, by the way, Scorpio cups is equal to a uh, water element. So this would be technically the page of cups in normal tarot, Scorpio. But when I see this card, when I associate cups, I see this usually as like a person, of course, right? Because pages represents uh, new beginnings and it says literally, like usually it's the representation of like a person entering your life, um, as the card says, right? But I also can see cups as like an opportunity of sorts. So it's one way or another with that. But if it's in terms of something social, Scorpio, this is talking about you probably have been going through some growing pains i'm getting with the connection with with a connection with somebody i feel like this is addressing a situation that you've already um been going through with somebody and i can't quite get a um vibe off of quite exactly what happened between y'all or like if there's like anything if there's like bad energy or bad juju about this right scorpio but i do get this sense that you've been going through the motions with some type of individual and um really just kind of been in this place of learning how to um either work around them or learning how to work with them uh learning how to just manage the dynamic between you and another person right regardless of the situation i kind of see this over i mean you could attest this to Scorpio, that I'm just an extremely optimistic person, right? But I don't get a bad sense from this page of water. Page of water usually is not like that ominous of a sign, right? And the other clarifiers we have coming in for you. Well, now I'm looking at the clarifiers, honey, and Scorpio it does look like uh, a situation of where you've been kind of putting yourself at a distance with certain individuals, right? Um, <laughs> I say this, I'll get into this in a moment, uh, Scorpio, what I was going to say there, but I want to show you these other cards so you understand. Uh, you have the Six of Air, uh, and this card says things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation, and taking a trip. So this is you moving on from the situation with that page of water. And then you have the Eight of Water as well. And by the way, Six of Air, Air cards are swords. The element for swords is air, rather, so technically be six of swords and then eight of water or eight of cups this card says a desire to move on the search for something more meaningful spiritual and emotional growth so there's it's interesting in this dynamic because now this is kind of giving me a storyline of a scorpio that is in this process of seemingly like walking away from a connection um especially with the emphasis on like spiritual depth here 
it does see, feel like you were just looking for something more out of a person. Uh, maybe there's like a certain individual in your life or even just, again, opportunity, right? Because that's what cups represent to me as well. A, a individual or a, an opportunity, just which I would say would be fairly recent, especially with the page of water. Now, if this is like the six of cups, then I'd be like, oh, okay, you're probably Scorpio putting distance between you and someone that you had a lot of history with, right? But with this page of water, it's new energy. So I don't feel like this person, the situation, this is definitely like a seasonal person, whoever this is, seasonal person, seasonal opportunity, uh, what have you. Um, but I see you kind of being like, eh, you like you, you dipped your toes in it a little bit, Scorpio. And then for some of you guys, it was almost just like, eh, this doesn't, this isn't it. This isn't enough, right? With the uh, Eight of Water, this is one of those things of where, like, Eight of Water, it's kind of like, eh, those eight cups, you know, those are, it fulfills, it does the job, kind of, right? But it's not 10 cups, right? Maybe there's nothing necessarily inherently wrong with this individual or with in anything inherently wrong with this opportunity um, or this situation for you, but it just isn't quite right for you, right? It feels like you would have to settle on some level when it comes to this connection. And it does feel more so like a, um, it does feel like Scorpio, for some of you guys, whoever this person is, especially with how temporary the situation does feel um, or how short-lived the situation was, it does feel almost like uh, this person is presently point, uh, brought to your life to bring, to trigger you in some way, to bring out something in you that you needed to identify Scorpio because I do feel like you identified it because especially with the six of air signifying that things are start, going to start looking up, it's usually like a sign from spirit saying it's like okay you completed the lesson you figured it out right but i just want to say that doesn't mean you need to get um complacent scorpio right just because again remember i'm an optimistic person honey so i'm always going to speak to you guys in the highest um outcome possible but maybe so, i mean keep in mind this is a general reading scorpio this is the journey you're currently experiencing through so you're not quite out of it yet just because you can acknowledge that there's a lesson here doesn't mean that you've completed the lesson you still kind of have to go through it right you have to go through that um the ugliness of it the yucky feelings the heaviness relief you know i just do i keep on seeing like a scorpio just like releasing themselves like kind of just like flaunting their chest towards so dramatic but it's very i'm just it's showing to me just like the sense of um break i guess you could either signify it as like breaking free this is where i wish i had like some subtitles honey and what it is i'm being shown so i can have a clear understanding why they're trying to express this but it's just very much so like this sense of like it feels like this page of water, whoever this whoever this was, whatever this was, was meant to trigger you in some type of way, probably in that process of triggering you and showing you that lesson, this person is just like, all right, this job here is done, or Scorpio, just because naturally of the Scorpio that you are, um, when someone gets at you in that way, you'll cut it off immediately, right? I say this so confidently because I'm a Libra Scorpio cast, so I know Scorpios that um, even if you were able to evolve yourself from the situation, that doesn't mean that you're going to be saving any scalps, honey. That doesn't mean that you're not going to be going for the jugular, right? Um, <laughs> but I do see this as just like something was brought out in this situation that was meant to put a magnifying glass on something that it is that you needed to look at for yourself, learning from it, and then that's when you overcome this phase here, right? Overcome this lesson for you. So I kind of want to just get some quick clarifiers for each of these cards, uh, Scorpio, see if we can refine the message anymore uh, before we continue on with your reading. Um, so I, yeah, I just kind of want to get a vibe, general vibe of just a little bit more detail, right? So give me a moment, Scorpio. So the clarifier that we have for your page of water uh, would be the Ten of Discs. The clarifier we have for your Eight of Water would be the Seven of, uh, seven of Wands, rather. And then the clarifier we have for your Six of Air would be the Nine of Discs. A lot of disc pentacles, by the way. Uh, so a lot of pentacle energy, a lot of, funnily enough, you have so many emotions and then 
like the clarifiers come in like so many emotions surface level and then the clarifiers come in to bring such a grounding force to this so really um i enjoy this as a tarot reader because it's showing to me scorpio that um there's not too much spiraling going on yeah there's emotions surf like surfacing for you but the root core of you you're staying a lot more stable and grounded um i'm seeing scorpio I, it's showing to me like you're growing in that way right because i know uh in last week's uh re reading for you scorpio i was kind of being a little bit hard on you guys on uh using like work as a coping mechanism to not really address your emotions this time i'm kind of seeing you guys kind of going with the flow of things and a little bit more and really uh just being receptive so let's get into these cards a little bit more right so when you have this ten of discs seven of discs or seven of wands i don't know why i keep on wanting to call the wands disc as well um with the nine of discs this really is amplifying in the sense of where it's like you're getting a lot of attention at this time scorpio uh, a lot of um paths that you could probably take um, and right now it does seem like you're just on the quest for stability, further stability, right? But I mean, I feel like it's a pretty safe thing to say as a tarot reader, honey, because who isn't looking for more stability, right? Like we all could use some stability in our life, but it is showing to me here that Scorpio, you are just functioning in this place of, um, it seems to be like you're transitioning like it's almost like for some of you Scorpios if this is in regards to a social situation it's like after this whole experience we'll just say honey um it's like you're putting a, a rest to like social situations for a while after this situation I don't know if it left a bad taste in your mouth or you're just kind of like all right I'm done now I'm ready to focus on some other aspect of my life like finances right with all those pentacle cards it does seem like you guys are shifting your focus whether it's like regardless of whatever your story is right it does seem like you're going to be putting a pin on this and now you're transitioning into um putting your focus on some uh, like allocating your energies into something else maybe just into someone else right i don't know y'all's uh, history right so uh yeah that's what it is that you're currently going through scorpio let's see uh what it is that we can expect for my scorpio uh, which deck do we actually want to use? Uh, we're gonna use this one, Scorpio. I want to see now uh, the journey my Scorpio is going to be on in this week, right? Let's see what's going on here. So, really good cards actually. So we have the Ace of Wands for you, Scorpio. Two of Cups. I'm like trying to contain burps if you're wondering my weird faces. Two of Cups and then the Six of Wands, Scorpio. So let's break this down a little bit more for you. The For this week, you can really anticipate a lot of success, honey, Scorpio. So here's the thing. I, when it comes to tarot readings, when you hear like the words, like a lot of success this week, I remember this is me just tapping into energies, honey, right? It doesn't mean you're gonna just win the lottery this week, uh, Scorpio. Let's add some realistic uh, views to this, right? But in this dynamic, this is, I feel like this is the week where you're probably going to deal with the least resistance that you've dealt with for a very long time, Scorpio. This is your time to get your ducks in a row. Uh, this is your time to really um, come up with a game plan and figure out your next move forward. So let me break down these cards themselves so you can actually uh, retain the message in the way that it's more fitting for your situation. Six of Wands, this is my success card. Yeah, my, this is the success card, Scorpio. This is the card of victory. This is the card of like spotlights on you. Seemingly, funnily enough, it does seem like um, does carry this theme of where you are in this process of getting a lot of attention, Scorpio. Now, when I say a lot of attention, it could just be a sense of where it's like people are noticing your presence. It doesn't mean like people are actively pursuing you, right? We can notice somebody without actively, you know, it just feels like a lot of, I don't want to say a lot of eyes are watching you, but you're just, you're being noticed, <laughs> Scorpio. I know that sounds so creepy, but I don't mean it in that way. It just feels like a lot of people are acknowledging you. I mean, like, oh, like you walk into a room and like someone will like turn their head and be like, oh, like this person is different. It feels so two of cups, you know, this is a opportunity coming in or, you know, I'm going to focus on the opportunity here because I don't feel like this is necessarily like a romantic thing, to be honest, uh, Scorpio. 
And then you have the Ace of Wands coming in here. This is the card of going forward, forward movement. Um, this is the card of passion. And this is really why, in, like, I'm going to pull some more clarifiers on this. I'll see if we can get a little bit more detail, Scorpio. But, like, no matter which way you want to paint this, honey, like, whether it's career, whether it's social, whether it's anything, whatever your storyline is this week, like, whatever it is you're trying to... This Ace of Wands, this is more so like what is burning inside, right? This is something that like um, you're aware of already. It's not going to be just like a random blessing coming forward. Again, I just feel like you're going to be getting the least amount of resistance that you probably have experienced in quite some time, Scorpio. So it's going to be just refreshing. Even if nothing happens this week, Scorpio, I feel like that in and of itself will be a blessing for you guys just because of how much you guys have been going through. Um non-confrontationally of course right <laughs> but let's get some clarifiers on this so we have the king of cups for you the five of wands with the page of wands so interesting that you have you keep on getting pages i'm noticing no knights so i am going to be honest or scorpio i don't feel like there's going to be necessarily like a actual like notable progression if that makes sense like you're not going to be able to like turn around and see how far you've how many miles you've like made in this week by the end of this week does that make sense i feel like a lot of the growth will just more so feel like uh things are just going to start feeling lighter your emotions you're going to have a lot more control of your emotions um i really get the sense that you're really finally overcoming this five of wands conflict you guys are coming out of this conflict um page of coins with this king of cups here this is really just such an emphasis uh scorpio of like you know now that you will have like it's like once you have like this momentary break this momentary pause where it's like you're not having so much just like weighing on you that's when like so much opens up right i feel like the more you clear your schedule um the more that you take off your to-do list scorpio um the more like stuff that's presented to you it's almost just like um every time you clear your plate uh someone comes along and brings the next course out for you with seemingly endless right i know it sounds so dramatic um scorpio <laughs> again like i keep on feeling the need to just like acknowledge that just because it's like i it's been a hot biscuit since scorpio has had like an extremely positive reading like this so it's like but truly, like, you guys, Scorpio, are not getting any negative cards, like, negative cards that would be normally perceived as that. So, um, yeah, best thing I could suggest to you this week, Scorpio, is just to, again, do what you can to clear out your to-do list. Because I am just constantly having, like, a list being shoved in my face now. I feel like, remember, and it correlates perfectly with the message from before, Scorpio, right? Of where I was feeling like this is, like, a week of, like, seemingly, like, the least amount of resistance that you're going to be experiencing in your life in your life right now so um yeah do your best to take care of your to-do list this week because the more you clear it out the more that's going to be presented to you so um presented to you in like the good way right all the with those two pages with that new energy they're really there's a lot of new uh energy waiting to go through the doorway for you scorpio whatever that means to you, right? Whatever it is you choose to believe in. So let's close this reading out for you, Scorpio, with some oracle cards. I pulled two uh, animal oracle cards as well as two moon oracle cards for you. And y'all will have to correct me if I'm wrong on this, Scorpio. And if I am wrong, then um, I feel like I guess this just enhances the message of itself more. But uh, the Pueo card comes forward. Now, whenever this card comes forward in this deck, Scorpio, I always say this is the card that spirit will pull when they're trying to get someone's attention to connect with them more. So some, if you are spiritually inclined, whatever it is you believe in, Scorpio, archangels, demon, honey, whatever it is you believe in, right? It's none of my business, right? It's no one's business what you believe in besides yours. Um, someone's trying to reach out to you, whether it's an ancestor. Um, I always see it as this way. I'll read off the card though. The Pueo card said, I dropped the card now. <laughs> All right. The Pueo card says, honey, your ancestral spirit guides are offering you guidance right now. So pay close attention to the signals and omens from them. Right? Keep your eyes peeled this week. 
And then, interestingly enough, to go along with that message now, uh, Scorpio, you have the condor spirit coming in. You're in t you're too enmeshed in the situation, so step back and see the bigger picture before making uh, any decisions or taking action. Uh, I say this is an interesting card because you're being asked to just take a step back and with this card is saying paying attention to the omens and signs from your spirit guides and what have, what have you. It's you really are being asked to have like trying it's like spirits really trying to have you see something. I don't know if it's like trying to get you out of your head, but I don't like to define the oracle cards too much because I feel like the messages that they bring is more so like personal, right? And it'll just resonate differently and y'all don't need the examples for these, right? And then you have new moon in Capricorn, your hard work is paying off, Scorpio keep uh, pushing through, and then you have the north node, step out of your comfort zone right? Step out of your comfort zone, which makes sense, especially with those page cards as well before, right? With that new energy. Challenge yourself, Scorpio. Truly challenge yourself. If there's been something that's been weighing on your mind or something that's been sitting on your mind and being like, man, I wish I, um, like, maybe you're, like, waiting for, like, the perfect day, the perfect opportunity to start that new insert thing here, insert verb here. Start it this week. Truly, Scorpio. Really, really, really. Uh, but yeah, Scorpio, that is the reading that I have for you this week. If you enjoyed this weekly tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card resonated. Uh, give this video a like and subscribe, Scorpio. And also, Scorpio, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, not just Scorpio. So uh, send, the, send your friend one of my tarot videos of their zodiac sign, and maybe they can find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. Uh, but until next time, Scorpio, I love you so much.